Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name's Lisa and I am in my very first bodybuilding season. Just did my first show about 10 days ago and it was awesome. Go back, watch the video, find out. Um, but I wanted to give you all sort of an update because things have changed. Plot twist for sure. So I'm gonna talk while I measure out my dinner cause like that's what I do, you know, and yeah. So um, last video, I sort of left you at, um, you know, the couple days post show, what my plan was, stuff like that. Um, and uh, what the plans were. So literally within hours of me recording that, the plans changed. So here we are um, almost a week later since I recorded that. So I'm just gonna give you a quick update in terms of like my macros and stuff like that. And then I will get into the sitch with the shows. So hang tight. I need a knife. So um, where I last left you was last week, we were increasing my carbs because I was losing weight post-show. So we were reversing me to avoid any more weight loss. I was all red and you're like, probably, bitch, what? Like, aren't you supposed to lose weight to get ready for show? Yes. But um, within what, three, four days post-show, I had lost two pounds, um, even with like my free meal and stuff like that. And I was lean enough for the show, for my division, stuff like that. The, actually, the feedback I got was they wanted me more full, um, which doesn't mean higher body fat. It meant that they want my muscles filled up more, i.e. with carbs. So we started increasing my carbs. My coach has me sending in my weight every day. And um, last week when I had told you we, he had increased my carbs up to 185, which is a little bit more than double what they were at the end of prep, like before the first show. And, um, I saw a slight increase, but still ha not back to where we wanted me to be. He wants me really like in the 123s and I was like at 121 still. So then Friday he increased my carbs to 200 and I lost weight. So then Saturday he upped my carbs to 220 and uh, I actually was able to go out on a dinner date with my husband which... I didn't take any pictures of my food or anything because um, we just needed to be disconnected. But I can tell you we went to a, I chose the place, we went to a steakhouse. So I had a filet, it's a very lean cut of meat. I asked them to make it with no butter and they literally had grilled asparagus and baked potato. So I brought my little travel scale and I weighed out, you know, that stuff. But basically it was super easy to include in my macros. I was just protein, carbs, and veggies. Like you can't eat out and still eat healthy. It's about portions, right? But it was nice. We got out of the house without children. Somebody else cooked my motherfucking food, which was amazing. Swear to God, the food just tastes better when you're not the one who's making it. So yeah. Um, so anyway, I woke up the next morning and I was like, I'm gonna be so like gross. Um, but actually I was the exact same weight as Saturday morning. So he was like, okay, let's hold steady at the 220 carbs and see how you do. Um, and then Monday morning, I so Sunday I had a my heavy leg day, the one that I really don't enjoy actually. Um, 
So I was a little bit sore on Monday. We did see an increase on Monday, finally, just to the low 120, no, mid 122s, uh, which could have been some soreness or water retention, but whatever. And then I was basically the same weight again this morning. So we've been holding my weight at the 220 carbs. I, my protein, sorry, my protein is still 140. That's where it's been for a very long time. We've mostly been increasing carbs, but he has slightly increased my fats uh, as we went. So my fats are up to 52 and they were like 35 at the end. So I used to be at 140 protein, 90 carb and 35 fat. And right now I am maintaining my weight at 140 protein, 220 carb, and 52 fat. So it's pretty crazy. I Like I said in the last video, I am a hard loser. So I don't even, I don't even understand how this is happening. But I guess like when your body is coming out of that depletion state, it's just like so much more sensitive. But you know, we're watching it. We don't want things to get out of control. Um, but we do want to make sure that we're keeping my muscles full or getting them fuller because that was the feedback that we got. Um, and I went over the feedback in that whole video. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and watch my recap video. It'll make more sense. Um, so that's that. Um, I'm still sending my weights in every day and then on my normal check-in days, which are Monday and Thursday, I am also sending in pictures just so he can see um, how my body is responding to it. We are making sure to keep my fiber low though with the 220 carbs. So I'm not going crazy and like eating all these fun foods like I am keeping it pretty simple because, you know, we learned with some of my loads previously. And again, that was in an older video that um, my stomach did not like when we added in too much fiber. So we don't want to go there. So I have been keeping my carb sources to um, rice, rice cakes, potatoes, and oats. So I'm not having a bunch of chips and shit, people, and candy. Um, but I can say I had a bagel. And it was fucking amazing. Like, bagels are probably my most favorite thing in the whole world. Um, it was fucking amazing. Um, I needed that for my soul. But, and my stomach did okay with it. I wasn't sure uh, how it would do, but I actually did fine with it. Um, yeah, I was able to get a Starbucks and work that in my macros. So just some sanity foods. Like I'm not having ice cream and cake and stuff like that, but stay insane just with some things. So that's been interesting and I can definitely tell that my mood feels a little bit better. I feel less zombie-ish, um, especially just kind of getting the first show anxiety off my back now too. Um, and getting a little bit of a break from work, which different video, different series, I'll explain that. Um, so anyway, that's the update on the weight and the food. Um, the, oh, my workouts. Oh, I'll get in the workouts in a second because it's affected by shows. So my show plan is, was, I'm all over the place, sorry. Okay, so my plan had originally been to do a four, April 29th Natty Revolution show where I could cross over and do both bikini and figure. Because remember, this is my first season and we're trying to see where I fit best, um, which one I like better and also try out different federations because each federation is just a little bit different on their standards and how they run their shows, stuff like that. So, you know, um, we're kind of just sampling the, the buffet here of the bodybuilding things. So yeah. Um, anyway, 
leading up to all this, like, I don't know. I kind of just didn't have a good feeling about this this 429 show and not that there is anything wrong with this federation at all um but i don't know i was having a hard time getting a hold of the promoter to find stuff out about like you know you guys know i have a um i have hashimoto's which is a thyroid autoimmune thyroid condition and i wanted to make sure i didn't need any like waivers from my doctor because i if i did i needed to reach out because they'll probably would take a hundred years and it was so hard to get a response from anybody. Um, my coach had to actually reach out to somebody that he knew so that that person could reach out to whoever. I don't know. It was a whole thing. And then, like, I got in touch with them. Um, I registered literally the Monday after my last show. I finally went through with the registration just because I... I wanted to know the results of my OCB show before I registered for another one because it would affect like if I did novice or whatever. So, um, yeah, I was not getting a competitor packet, so I had no information on times and schedule and tanning vendors and all that stuff like that you need. And I was approaching bear like being a week out and having none of this information and like this I don't know it was just reinforcing um like I said my initial gut feeling that like I don't know I just didn't have a good feeling about how this this particular show was being organized and literally again within hours after my last video my coach had texted me and he's like, hey, just a heads up, I got wind that they may be canceling your 429 show. And I was like, well, no figures. That would explain why I'm not getting any information. And he goes, well, I guess there's gonna be a call about it later today, but I just wanted to give you a heads up so you, know, you could start taking a look at your other options. So I'm like, okay. Um, which I'm glad he gave me the heads up. I uh, took a look at, you know, all of the options, show dates, location, stuff like that. You know, they said that they would be willing to transfer the registration to um, another show that weekend, but it would be up like in Detroit. Um, I don't know. And I talked to in the last show about like, I had originally had the 429 show scheduled and then I was supposed to be doing another OCB show in Indy, Indianapolis on 5-6. And I just have been thinking like the only class I would be able to compete in at that 5-6 OCB show would be open because I already obviously can't compete in novice now and I have a pro card for masters, but you can compete in amateur open with a master's pro card as long as you haven't competed as a pro yet. So I don't know, it's a whole thing. But then I got to thinking like, that's not very much time on stage to just compete in the open category or class category, I don't know. I don't even know the right terms anymore still. Um, but like it would require like all my husband and my kids going down to Indy. It's like two and a half hours away. So I would stay at a hotel two nights. And like, I don't know. I was just like, I just don't know that it's worth it. And I know I've said in a couple of the previous videos, like we have a situation with a family member and I didn't really want to be that far away. And I was kind of looking at the options. They were talking about transferring and I was like, same thing to show up in Detroit. Like that's four or five hours away. I I don't know. I just, I wasn't liking the concept of traveling that far right now. So yeah, I, I did some research on what my other options were and I was like, well, what if I just don't do a show on 429 and sort of change the plans because I don't know that I want to do the show in Indy on 5-6 either. So I was like, how about we do 
the show on five six the show on five six that i was looking at is like 25 minutes away from my house it's the same federation the natty revolution um it's actually an all women's show which is kind of cool um but like it's closer to home it didn't have the drama of you know all this other stuff so i said i'm kind of leaning toward just switching to that one on five six um not doing going for the ocb open pro card like we'll decide what to do with that later and then i still wanted to do an npc show for bikini because we know that figure i'm too small for npc because that's the non-drug tested one so um you know i'm like why don't we just do 5 6 5 13 and then call the season over and sort of decide with all of that information experience and feedback like what we're thinking going forward after that um so that was kind of what i was toying around with you know blah 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 and that was wednesday night i asked some feedback from you know some of my friends and my husband is probably like the most rational thinking person i know and i ran some stuff toward him and you know he he had asked me questions about like you know what do, what is my goal what do i want to do with this and because that would determine more of my um choice i guess it would like lead me to the choice and i really found that i didn't have a really good answer for that because i didn't I don't know. I don't know where this is going to go. And I was like, you know, every time in this little journey of mine that I've been like, well, I'm not going to do that. And that's not something that's in my, you know, on my radar. Like I've ended up fucking doing it. So like CrossFit, it was like, oh, I'm just going to, I'm just going to do the beginner's class and get some tips and, and ideas. And then I'm just going to work out from home. And then I ended up joining CrossFit and going like five, six times a week. And then it was like, I'm starting a new nutrition thing. And it's like, oh, I'm not going to be one of those obsessive people that weighs all the food. Well, right. So, um, and then it was, um, you know, I think I'm going to take this nutrition class so I can help build a, a program for our patients at work and get them better outcomes. But like, I'm not going to coach people like that's, I ended up coaching people. I ended up starting my own business to coach people. And then it was, I'm going to do bodybuilding, but I'm not going to go on stage. Um, fucking went on stage. And so now it's like, now I have my pro card. Now what? So I don't want to take anything off the fucking table because like, it doesn't matter. It's probably going to change. So I don't know. I guess it kind of made me realize that I don't know where this is going. I just need to keep my mind open and... Like, trust my instincts, I guess. And I don't know if anyone else is like this, but well, I'm sure there are. But, like, I feel a lot of pressure sometimes that, like, if this was my original plan and I've told that plan to the universe, to other people, to social media, like, whatever it is, that, like, well, now I have to go through with it because that's what the plan is, you know, and I'm not doing this to fucking please other people. And I'm 40 years old. Like, I need to start pleasing me. And, like, I had to sit with that for a minute. But every time I've had a gut feeling about something, I've been fucking right. So, I had a gut feeling about this 429 show just not feeling like some, it was right. And then now it was going to be canceled. And oh, by the way, then, then it wasn't canceled. And then it was all this back and forth. Give us more time. And I was like, oh, okay. You know. And then I like had this epiphany on Friday night. And I was just like, no, fuck that shit. Like they are completely disorganized. I do not need any more stress in my life right now. Like do not need any more fucking stress. And this is stressing me out and this isn't supposed to. This is supposed to be fun and I don't need it to take away from my experience. And if I don't have a feeling this is going to be a good experience, then I'm going to choose something that will be. So 
Um, the next morning, I just told my coach, I'm like, no, I'm not going to wait for them to go back and forth and figure this shit out. I've given them plenty of opportunities. I'm out. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the five, six show and transfer it. I'm going to go to do the Natty Rev five, six diva classic. Um, and then I'm going to do the NPC show, the Illinois state championships on five thirteen, And then I think I'm done, you know, and we'll see where things are at at that point. And he was just like, all right, so cool decision made. Um, in the meantime, I will say, uh, I have been in contact with, it's a different promoter for the five, six Natty revolution show. And they've been fantastic, super communicative. Um, the vice president of the Federation, I think is, is helping or doing the promotion. And I don't know, I'm in good hands. So yeah, then Then, you know, I was telling them, I, you know, I'm going to sign up for figure and bikini and blah, blah, blah. And then, like, okay, we'll work on getting your payment from the last one transferred over. But it wasn't transferring over because the payment was still pending because the other guy hadn't done something, of course. And so they're like, see if you can cancel it because it hasn't gone through. I'm like, okay, well, it doesn't let me. So then I told them that. And then supposedly he went in and canceled it, but it's still showing it's pending with just a note like in the shipping area, cause there's no like no, no product being shipped that it was returned, but it's still showing it's pending. So I doubt he did it right, I don't even fucking know. Anyway, we're just gonna start with a clean registration and if I need to um, dispute that on my credit card, then I fucking will, I guess, but it's just stupid. So then the promoter of this, the other, the five, six show, the one that I'm going to do, um, he was saying like, Hey, you, you know, we'll, we'll add an extra registration in for free. If you want to do like the sports model or the angel or any other category, I don't know what they're called. Again, I can't remember what they're called. Um, and I was like, Oh, cool. You know, and then he was sending me like the angel one, like is basically a bikini and you have angel wings and, but it's like costumey and blah, blah. I was like, Oh, that's cool. And then like the sports model one, like you have like a sporty gym outfit and like, but you have to write a speech about what fitness means to you and shit. Like, I don't know. So I'm like, oh, that'd be really cool. And, da, 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 and it's free. And <sighs> finally I was like, bitch, stop, stop. Just because they offer it doesn't mean you have to do it. Like fucking stop. Again, like listen to your instincts and my instincts are, I can't throw that together in two weeks. Like that, it would be a half-ass costume. It would be a half-ass presentation. It's gonna stress me out. And again, I don't need that right now. I am just trying this stuff on just for the figure and the bikini part. I've never even been to one of their fucking shows before. So like, maybe I should see you first. So that's what I decided. I was like, no, I'm just gonna stick with the figure and bikini like I originally planned. And I wanna watch. I wanna watch the sports model part. I wanna watch the angel part and like see what it's about and see what other people are doing. And if I want to do that at a later show, I can fucking do it. Like there's shows all the time. So, Again, like just working on like trusting my fucking instincts and listening to what I want and what I need. So that was a big, big deal for me. Um, so anyway, given that instead of being three days out, which I would have been for the 429 show, I am about 10 days out for the 5-6 show. And I've already get it, gotten my tanning set up. Um, the makeup is in the works of being set up. The registrations are getting done and transferred. Um, but yeah, so, um, I would be halfway through peak week right now, but I'm not because I just finally made a decision. And that's the thing we had to decide by Sunday because it would affect what we were doing for the week. So, was it last week? Yeah, last week I went back to my normal, um, lifting routine and weights and you know heavy weights supersets or drop sets blah 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 um so then this week because we are pushing back the next show another week 
Um, I'm doing another week of heavy. So another week of my normal heavy stuff. Um, still able to do CrossFit this week and then I will start peak week on Sunday. So yeah, I will say it's really weird because um, I expected like with getting the extra carbs that my workouts would feel like easier to get through the weight and stuff like that. But it's really crazy. Like doing the same weight that I was doing the week before my peak week for the first show, um, is actually harder. And my leg day that I hadn't done in two weeks because of peak week was harder and I was sore afterwards with the same or slightly less weight. And I was like, the fuck, what the fuck? So I think it probably was actually good for me because going into another peak week right away would just extend that. So this gives me a little bit more time, although I will have back-to-back -back ones next. So I don't know, but then I'll be completely reversing after that. So that was a lot of talking. If you lasted this long, thank you. Um, maybe I'll try to get a full day of eating recorded, but we'll see. I will try. I'm doing my best, guys, but um, with everything I have going on right now, it's a little bit hard to record and edit. So I'm trying to document this because this is like the part that I want to document the most, but it's also the part that is the most difficult to do right now. So yeah, doing the best I can. Anyway, peace out. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click the little bell thing, I think for like alerts when I put up new stuff. Yeah, I think that's